Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to another video today. Now I just want to talk to you about the PC that I have behind me that I've recently built. Uh, it's going to be used as a second PC slash um, sort of benchmarking PC, if that's the right way to put it. What am I thinking? Test bench was the thing I was going to use. So um, I used to pick up a used uh, office computer from Stone PCs online. They're online at on, uh, EncorePCs.com and they had this uh, for a really good price actually. Uh, came did come in a small form factor case though, which I do still have, and I'm trying to flog that. So if you know anyone that wants one, get them in touch with me and we'll sort that out. <laughs> um, with a 300 watt power supply as well, might I add. Uh-huh, uh-huh, see? All part of the package. And this one comes with, uh, or this one came with, sorry, an i5-4590. You can look that up if you want, it gets some pretty good um, reviews when it comes to its performance. And they generally go on eBay themselves for about 110, 120. So to get the whole system all together for 120 is a really a good price. I can't complain too much, you know, I get the motherboard and eight gigabytes of DDR3, 1600 megahertz RAM. So I suppose when you add all them together, you know, they would be quite expensive anyway. Um, you know, that as a package, you're looking at probably about £200, notwithstanding the case and the power supply. Now, I've got it in back in my big case, my old case from before. Uh, I gave it to Joe, but he has bought a new one, so he said you can have your old one back if you want. I've took, taken, taken and made modifications, so there's no drive bays in there now. You have to screw the hard drives to the bottom of the case, but, you know, it all works and it all makes sense and... Um, yeah, it's all looking pretty good. So the idea is, I wanted to test out some older sort of graphics cards. Actually, to start off with, it's just going to be graphics cards. And the idea is that the 4590 won't be a bottleneck for any potential graphics card I could put at it. I mean, are you really expecting this to bottleneck um, a 4590? Because I'm not. <laughs> and what's in there at the minute is an XFX... GTX 260. Once again, not going to bottleneck the processor at all. And in fact, it's been it's got an interesting score on user benchmarks that I didn't look up before I bought it. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a separate video on the graphics card itself anyway and on this one, which I won't tell you what this is because it can be a surprise, a really bad surprise. But, you know, Nevertheless, a surprise. Now, the reason I made the video, and I should have said this at the start, but I forgot, and I forgot in the first take as well, so shoot me. The thing is, I want to come up with a name for the computer. Now, I know there are, I can't remember the guy's name on YouTube, but he obviously made a really cheap computer, and he called it the Potato Basher, which I thought was really, really good, you know. Makes sense. <laughs> you can run on a potato. Well, yeah, this is a potato basher. You know, I get that. That's pretty cool. So at the minute, my PCs, I've got Phoenix for my main rig. I've got Loki for my um, just media PC. It's in like a really small case. I'll show you at some point. I'll be doing a video on that one as well. But yes, I don't have one for this. So feel free to come up with some name suggestions. Anything that is, you know, sort of Nordic mythology or... Uh, fantasy orientated, Lord of the Rings orientated even, you know, anything like that, or just something that's topical, uh, topical to the build or topical to the project as a whole, you know, that'd be really useful and I'd quite appreciate any suggestions you can come up with. So yes, do let me know, I'm taking it seriously, there'll be a special background to do with the name, I was thinking about getting like a vinyl sticker or something, but I thought that might look a bit, uh, in my head it looks a lot better than I think it would look on the actual case. So, probably not going to go quite that far. But just to give it an identity, give it a bit of soul, um, I'd like to do that quite a lot. So, yes, let me know what you guys think. And, yes, I will make a new video really talking about the system as a whole. And then, and doing the sort of like base benchmark setting with a, a, a 1050 or something. And going from there and just seeing how it performs. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.